Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Lost Treasures. You are tuned to 93.7 LPFM in Tisbury, Massachusetts. Low power to the people. WVVY. We are community radio serving the beautiful towns of Tisbury and Oak Bluffs and the beautiful world on the internet at WVVY.org. My name is Les, and I was born to be here tonight. Tonight's show is based on the British invasion, the gods of rock and roll that came over from England. And, uh, you know, like D-Day, Normandy, and Nagasaki, the British invasion was a planned event. When I was a little kid growing up, every Sunday night we tuned into Ed Sullivan. We couldn't wait to see what band he was going to present. It was the Beatles that we really wanted to see. The Beatles ruled uh, the 60s like... Like Elvis ruled the 50s, and uh, at one point in time they had uh, three songs in the top ten. You know, they always had something coming out, and you wanted to hear what they were going to do next. Like uh, Elvis, everybody copied what they did. Uh, you know, in the 50s there was a bunch of rockabilly bands, you know, Elvis wannabes. But uh, in the 60s, um, the Beatles ruled everything. They were, they were the gods of the time. I'm going to get into the guitar gods later on in the show, but uh, right now it's mods to gods here at Lost Treasures. I firmly believe that music is history and recordings are moments in time captured forever. You know, uh, history is measured by politics and wars and events in, uh, in our news, but uh, to me music is where history is created. We are all products of a TV generation. Uh, you know, TV is something that has affected uh, both music and, and politics and history, obviously. It is the biggest propaganda machine out there. And tonight I'm going to play some classic commercials from the uh, 60s television era, and uh, along with the music. Uh, I thank you for tuning in to this edition of Lost Treasures again. And here we go. <laughs> That's the Beatles again, and I want to hold your hand. That song is based on a Professor Longhair song, uh, Baby, Let Me Hold Your Hand. A lot of the music that came out of Britain in the 60s was based on music from America in the 50s. Uh, the Stones 
covered a lot of blues tunes. Led Zeppelin ripped everybody off for crying out loud. I mean, they played nothing but blues music, basically. But they certainly cranked it up. They laid the law down for heavy metal. Uh, you know, to me, uh, the British blues scene is uh, the best music of the 60s in so many ways. You can criticize the Beatles for being pretty poppy in their early days, and they kind of were. But once they became popular, they were able to write their own ticket. Like the Stones, they created their own record label. And, uh, you know, like uh, Led Zeppelin, they created their own form of music. It's Guitar Gods all the way up to about 11 o'clock here. I thank you for tuning in to Lost Treasures and WVVY. Takes it off like Noxima medicated tea. <laughs> Take it off. Take it all off. Nothing takes it off like Noxima medicated shade. How closer you shave, the more you need Noxima. Noxima medicated comfort shade. <laughs> Yeah. 
commercial from the 60s and uh, you know the British uh, really do uh, like their tea time prior to that I played the band the Easy Beats uh, they're from Australia but they made their mark in, in England in uh, 1966 they played the song Sorry that features George Young on guitar and he's the older brother of Angus Young from ACDC uh, and prior to that I played the Dave Clark Five song, Do You Love Me? And um, with the big British flag hanging in the background, that song is originally done by the Contours, and they are out of uh, Detroit, Michigan, 1964. Again, you're tuned to Public Radio here on Martha's Vineyard, and uh, it's 93.7 WVVY. Right now, I got the first of the guitar guys to come down the pike, and this is Eric Clapton and the band Cream.
welcome back. That is a killer version of Sunshine of Your Love live. Uh, the vocal track is kind of lost in the sauce, but uh, yeah, some killer guitar from the guy known as Eric Clapton. Uh, they were spray painting on the walls, Clapton is God back then, and uh, he kind of was, you know. He came up from the Yardbirds, did a little stint with John Mayall and the Blues Breakers, and then formed Cream. But my favorite guitar god is this guy right here. This is Jimi Hendrix live on German television and the song Purple Haze. Welcome back to Lost Treasures. And uh, again, my name is Les. The show is broadcasted on WVVY every Thursday night between 9 and 11. All right, we got uh, Clapton covered. We got uh, little Jimi Hendrix covered. I'll play some more later, obviously. Uh, but here is Guitar God number three. This is Jimmy Page. In 1970, my buddy Steve uh, called me up and said, Hey, let's go see this band at the Oakdale Musical Tavern in Wallingford, Connecticut. And I'm like, who are you talking about? What, what's up? Uh, they're called Led Zeppelin. And I'm dating myself right now, but, uh, yeah, I was a junior in high school, and uh, I didn't know what I was in for that night. But uh, my mind was blown by what Jimmy Page did, what John Bonham was doing. He's the best drummer I've ever seen in my life, for crying out loud. And uh, right now I got dazed and confused by Led Zeppelin. 
Thank you very much. This is a number called Dazed and Confused. <laughs> True. I wanted a woman never bargained for you Sweet little baby, say what you will Turn back so much when I send you the bill Try to love you, baby, but I know it's a sin It's time I think I want you, woman, I'm going down again So hard, bringing home my heart and pay. Try to love you, baby, but you push me away. I don't know where I'm going, but I know just where you've been. I want to love you, baby. I got no way.
long did a woman never bargain for you? Sweet little baby, say what you will. Your tongue went so much when I send you to hell. A 007 gift set for every assignment. This one packs the full line, including 007 aftershave, hairdressing, and cologne. That's 007 for the license to kill women. When you use 007. guitar gods and the Beatles and play the greatest rock and roll singer of all time, Jim Morrison. Come around. 
Wrap your arms around my 
All right, welcome back to uh, Lost Treasures. Uh, that's the, uh, the song Gloria by Jim Morrison and the Doors. You will not find that song on any album uh, that was on YouTube. Uh, that is an outtake from a studio rehearsal. And, uh, yeah, some good stuff there. That tune goes out to my man Vinny, one of the DJs down here at the station. Again, I was born to be here tonight. My name is Les. You are listening to Lost Treasures and... This is the place where music is history and recordings are moments in time captured forever. Anybody out there that's ever been in a band and had a great show and wished the tape was rolling, you know what I'm talking about. Music is the soundtrack to our lives. Right now I got David Bowie who changed music himself in 1971 with the Spiders from Mars. And this is the song Moon Age Daydream. And the guitar player is Mick Ronson. I do want to remind everybody that the first hour of this show will be presented on YouTube and posted every week. I urge you to check out the visuals and the guitar solo that you are about to hear. Again, this is Mick Ronson and the song Moon Age Daydream.
man, you know, I got to tell you, I've seen a lot of concerts in my life that the best show I ever saw was David Bowie live at the Music Hall in 1971. No, 72, excuse me. I was a sophomore in college. I was there with the girl of my dreams at the time, and I was sitting in the fourth row right in front of Mick Ronson and his gold top Les Paul, and I was literally blown away by what he did. It was simple, but it was effective. He had the swagger. He had it all. It was simply amazing. And right then and there, I committed myself to learning how to play that guitar that I had back at the house. You know, we all can't be uh, rock and roll gods, uh, but we can all be a fan of rock and roll. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll fueled uh, this society from uh, 1950 to 19... Well, it's still fueling it. What am I saying? You know, one out of every 10,000 little leaguers make it to the big leagues, but we all got a dream. You know what I'm saying? When we all go to the movies, we uh, see the best movies, uh, but the best directors make the films to put the music in the right places. And you're in the right place right now, uh, listening to public radio on Martha's Vineyard. Uh, it sure beats TV and Law and & Order and Criminal Minds and Forensic Files and all that crap. Again, it's Lost Treasures. My name is Les Moore, and you are tuned to Martha's Vineyard Public Radio. And I thank you for tuning in to uh, The Road Less Traveled tonight. All right, closing in on the first half of the show, I'm going to keep it going here with some more Yardbirds. Um, the Yardbirds got their name from Charlie Yardbird Parker. They had all the guitar gods in the band at one point in time, Clapton, Page, and, and Beck. They started out as a blues band with um, Top Topham on guitar, but Eric Clapton took the job over in uh, 1963. Uh, the original members of the band are Paul Samuel Smith on bass, Chris Dreha on rhythm guitar, Jim McCarty on drums, and the singer and bongo and guitar player was Keith Relf. <laughs> Where the sun refused to shine People tell me there ain't no 